so this is where all right guys so i am not sure if i can see when people start coming on because we're doing it a little different today so he okay i can so i see an eyeball so when i start seeing people come on i don't know if i can see when you come on so i want you guys to jump in the comments and say hi hello i'm here i can see you and i am going to we're gonna try okay guys because i'm really really excited okay yay hi guys how are you i'm so excited so you guys all right you have to be calm and relaxed through this with me okay because um i had a coffee okay i know i know i know I, this is i just have to i just have to say it so hey reddish what's up so she is a freckled mom right freckled fam we got my <laughs> freckled fam guys yay hi guys hi 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 I'm so excited. Thank you, Dutchie. I'm glad you guys can see us, not just me. So I have Mike. If you guys haven't met my husband, this is my husband, Mike. Oh, grandmas. Yay. We love grandma. So grandma's gone crafty. You are my favorite name right now. <laughs> I need a second coffee. No, I don't. No, I don't. Maybe after the stream. So this is my husband. If you haven't met him, this is Mike. What's up, everybody? Yay! So if you're new to my channel, I am Devin from Freckled Mom DIY and Freckled Mom at Home, but you're on Freckled Mom DIY. I don't know which camera I'm supposed to be looking at, guys. I'm sorry. I am trying my best. We are, we're just out in the wild. So I'm not, well, not wild. That's our backyard. But there's Ginger. Say hi, Ginger. There's Ginger. Oh, she doesn't care. So guys, okay, this is, hey, Melissa, what's up? So if I don't see your name pop up, hello 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 so today oh chicago that's exciting i didn't know you were from chicago sarah so we did a couple things today so that's why i was just too excited i had to tell you guys because i can't even like put it into like one post because it's just so much ginger she's so cute and there's miko now so miko's bum hey miko oh your cards are here okay so a couple things so we started off the day with redoing canada yay that's awesome so we started off doing our porch reno okay well not we i and i needed the muscles so i asked him to be moving some stuff hey Teresa, what's up so i have i don't know if you guys saw on instagram but i had picked up this huge faux mantle fireplace Man, whatever you know what i mean and it's beautiful and i didn't exactly refinish it but i sealed it so anyways we brought that up onto the porch and that was my main goal today. So I had a few things to do. We had to pick up, um, we had to stop at my father-in-law's cause he built us some shelving and I'm really excited about that. So we had to pick up some shelving and I think that was it, right? That was our only goal for the day. Well, that was our goal originally. And then we, uh, kept well, 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 well. don't tell, don't tell. <laughs> This is hazards of the job, guys. So why I named it that is you're going to see. You're going to see. Oh, yes, Jamie. So this is my friend, Jamie. Jamie, Mike, I have been telling Mike about you. So me and Jamie are doing a collaboration on Tuesday, and it's for porch renos. So that's why my faux mantle place went up onto the porch. So while I have Jamie here, so Jamie did a video. Um, I'm not sure when, but she did a video, and she had like a bucket of like logs and I was like oh that's really cool but like I don't want to go buy logs I want to just get logs so my idea was we were going to go to my father-in-law's and we were going to pick up my shelving which I'm going to show you guys but wait just wait oh this is so just exciting <laughs> oh my god I'm so excited right, so why don't you take us all on this, uh, I'm going to warn them first okay. what we did okay. so I had this idea that I was going to stop and pick up sticks. Okay. So we, I'm going to show you guys my shelving. I'm really excited because we're redoing our kitchen and I'm just so excited. And in an effort to save money, my father-in-law is a handyman and has helped, helped me build things. So he has made some shelving and some core bells. So I, we had to go pick those up. And so I said to my husband, Oh, your father and my father-in-law, his dad, has a big yard and it's like woodsy and stuff. So I said, I want to go get some sticks guys. Cause I want to make what Jamie had. Hey Carmen, what's up? So I wanted to get sticks to, you know, look organic and look natural to go up on my porch renovation that we're doing for fall. I thought it was going to be super cute. So we stopped and his yard did not have the sticks I wanted. So I said, well, let's pull off the side of the road and we're going to pick up some sticks. And my husband's like, 
<laughs> he said, oh, I'm not going to go into tick infested uh, woods so you can get some sticks for some stupid project. And I said, you're I not called a stupid. Project. Okay. And so I said, <laughs> you're not going to go into the woods for me. Like, really? So anyways, he pulls off the side of the road and he, hey, Kentucky, what's up, Amy? Hi, how are you? So we pull off the side of the road, guys. And I don't know if you can see. Wait, hold on. Where is it? My your, forehead is. Your neck is the worst. Oh, my God. Which. <laughs> I'm so bad with these. Look at it. Oh my God. So we pull off the side of the road to get these sticks. And all of a sudden it was literally like mosquitoes. And my husband was like, West Nile virus. And like, it was just, he wasn't like that at all. But <laughs> there's people like driving by and we're like swatting mosquitoes. And I got my, I got my wood. That's all that matters. So I got my wood. So what I'm going to share with you guys. So me and my husband, we're now itching. Like, I mean itching. We have bug bites all over my face, my neck, my ankles, because we weren't ready for it. So, of course, we didn't spray ourselves with, like, bug spray. Like, who does that? I don't know. So, we're driving down the road, okay? So, I have picked up my shelving, which I'm going to show you. I picked up my core bells, which I'm going to show you. And we're driving down the road, complaining about our bug bites. We're itching. There's still mosquitoes flying in the car. We're, like, killing mosquitoes. I'm sorry, universe, that I'm killing animals. But they were eating us alive. And all of a sudden, we drive by a church yard sale. And I'm like, oh, and my husband, so he loved yard sales more than me, okay? Believe it or not, he really does. So he says, do you want to pull in? And I'm like, sure, why not? Yeah. Did you know what was going to happen when we pulled into that yard sale? I had a feeling you were going to buy something big and all that. <laughs> so what happened when we first, first pulled in? What did we see? Uh, kitchen tables and yeah so we just saw all over the place yeah so we just saw a couple of things like i took some pictures i'm gonna put it up on my story on instagram but i haven't done it yet so um we saw like some rocking chairs oh i didn't get the rocking chair no, we don't oh need another rocking my chair. god i forgot the rocking chair guys oh need. my god this is awful we don't need it. so we saw a bunch of stuff outside i was super excited and no i don't think he he's gonna regret it in about five minutes so you're gonna see why so so we're going through the stuff at the churchyard sale and I'm all excited. I buy like a tree, like a little Christmas tree for 50 cents. I'm super excited. I got it for 50 cents. And then the woman says they have an entire church filled. What? I'm surprised we only got a couple things to be honest. <laughs> so we end up, he asked if there's parking. So we find that there's parking in the back. So now we go and we park the car and we get out and we go into this churchyard sale and it wasn't as like, it wasn't huge or anything, but it was, you know, it was pretty big and it had a bunch of stuff. And my husband, before this happened, let me just back up a minute. <laughs> See, Jamie needs to move here because we find all the funnest things. You guys, it's because we live in a, like a small city and on the outskirts of the city are like random places. So it's like, we get the best of both worlds. We get like country and city and like, we get everything, you know, and it's really not that far away, you know, like a 15 no, Mass minute Massachusetts, ride. Uh, everything's so close. Yeah. You, know, you can get to so many different places so fast. So you guys ready? So listen, on the way, before we saw this churchyard sale, my husband was like, what did you say? I don't even remember now. I don't remember. What he said something <laughs> like, I don't know why you have to always get like the biggest furniture. Like you just have to always get the biggest pieces, like one day like we're gonna get a house that will be big enough for all your stuff which we already have a pretty big house but it's not big enough for me you know what i mean not because big enough for big pieces of furniture uh, on a weekly basis <laughs> yeah on a weekly basis so uh he was just telling me that we should have this big house once you get this big house you can have all the big furniture you want i mean he tells me this about the dogs too once we get a big house you can get all the big dogs you want <laughs> right is that what you say sometimes <laughs> <laughs> So we were, oh, Southern Georgia. It must be hot. Oh my goodness, yeah, I can't. It's hot. We're about yeah. to get a hurricane Ooh. tomorrow. We're going to get a hurricane tomorrow, but right now it's like 100. Like it is hot and sticky, and that's why we are looking the way we're looking. This is this is uh, Massachusetts glam right now. Yeah, a little humid right now. Ooh, it is hot. I'm just reading. Sorry, I'm like staring while I'm trying to read, guys. And it is... Um, you know, I have, I just have these grand ideas for furniture and my garage just gets really built up and no, no, it's Heather. You don't know Mike. Mike is, he is literally, he's the sweetest person. And I'm not saying that cause we're on camera, but he thinks I'm crazy and he doesn't, the stuff that I just, I think up, I just, I can't, I can't. 
So a lot of information. You got to download a lot of information quickly. <laughs> yeah, and and of course, I had two sips of an energy drink. Woo! So that was a bad idea because that just like woo woo woo. That just got me going, and it was so good. And I don't like energy drinks, but anyways, back to the subject. So. On the way to this churchyard sale, he wants to tell me, you know, why do you always want to get big furniture? Da, 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 da. And it was just a conversation. He wasn't chastising me for my, you know, my, me liking big furniture or anything like that. So then we go to the churchyard sale. Nobody knows what we're going to come across. Nobody knows. Okay. We just, we went in and I said to him, what I said was look for kitchen decor because we're redoing our kitchen. I don't know if I want it vintage or retro, but I need something you know it's got to be some kind of comfy Teresa says she needs to build another house so she can fit all her stuff that's true <laughs> that oh that, that's your good job you could be my my comment guy yeah. yeah because I just talk non-stop and he's good at relaxing and reading you yeah I mean, right now in the trees I'm not sure if that's coming out on camera I'm sure that was super loud <laughs> so loud. Yeah, I didn't know do those bite because I was trying to like touch one the other day and Richie was like, what are you doing? They bite. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Mm, oh, well. So anyways, you guys, I first, okay. So if Jamie's still here, oh, good. That's good. Yeah, I like the sound of bugs. I don't know. I'm a weird person like that. Anyway, so Jamie did her video and she um, redid like a bunk bed ladder. And she said like her kids were getting rid of it. And so I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And I told my husband, I was like, I need you to get a saw because we don't own a saw. We got to go to my father-in-law's garage all the time. Anyways, you guys, talk him into getting me a saw, okay? I got you a sander the other day. Because he lost my other sander. You could have told me you needed a saw. I would have bought one, too. I need a, I need a saw. Okay, well, you need to go shop. I need a saw. So, I know, I know. I'm going to tell you. The big thing going on, you guys, is that, well, hazards of the job. That was it. That was the hazard of the job. The mosquitoes. Like, I'm... They want to see oh. the product. They want to see the okay, product. Okay, we're going, guys. We're going to go right now. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to turn, you guys. So, bear with me for a second. I don't know if I can, but I think I figured it out. Camera. Hold on, guys. Front camera. Back camera. Done. And then exit out. And then exit out. I did it, guys. You ready? So here is my backyard. It, it was really nice and manicured one time, but then this guy happened. Miko, say hello. Okay, Miko doesn't care. He's just looking at this gate right now because he is wanting to get out. I'm going to shut the gate, guys. Hold on. Say bye, Miko. And this is what we have to do. Oh, I can't shut it now. Okay, so we went to... First, we went to my father-in-law's, and I got my Corbells. See my Corbells? He made those for me. And then this is the ladder that Jamie had redone on her channel. So if you don't know Jamie, Simple Roots, Simple Living, go check it out. Now I get to copy her. So it's going to be like Try It Tuesday, but like Devon style, because I'm not waiting for Try It Tuesday. So I got that. Those are are hazards of the job. Those are my sticks that I had to fight off a thousand mosquitoes for. Seriously, I had to fight a thousand mosquitoes for those darn sticks. But you know what? I did it. I'm happy because I spray painted a new bucket and I'm really excited. Yay, Jamie, see? See how inspiring you are? I had to go shop at a, at a church yard sale. Okay, so, um, yeah, we can't see the shelves yet because the shelves are um, in the other part of the car. So here's my core bells. So Mike's just going to be cleaning some stuff up for me just because I was so excited, guys. Like, I just wanted to show you guys because I literally cannot wait. So you guys know we're doing my kitchen over, which it was supposed to be, like, super DIY, but now it's, like, half DIY, half, like, workers you know because like we're not putting in our own floor and like our own countertop so whatever but the rest of it is going to be us with the core bells and the shelves you want to pull the shelves out first so my father-in-law i sent him some measurements and he made me uh three shelves because he's already made me a bunch of shelves and so yeah so these are um 29 inches so the ones that we have in oh i know i love core bells pulling this out so um, I already have some that are like 46 inches in the kitchen. He made me two of them last year when I decided to do all open shelving. And then um, now we're getting rid of like a really big counter and we're going to put 
these here. So I'm going to make like a coffee bar and I'm just like really excited. Oh, I know my father-in-law. Um, what did, what did your dad say about my she shed? Did he say he was going to help or did he say I was crazy? Uh, it was one of those. I don't know which one he said. <laughs> okay. So you guys ready? Are you guys ready? So listen, so remember what I said, Mike said, Hey Connie, what's up? So, oh, my brother-in-law, he gave me this today. He saw us and he was like, oh, you want this? And I'm like, yes. What are you talking about? Of course I want this. And it's like super heavy. Awesome. I love it. So, yeah, it's a sundial. So we were, remember, we were at the churchyard sale. My husband had previously been talking about how I always want big furniture. And that was his... You know, that was what he was talking about. That was his grief, you know, his little, you know, pet peeve about me was always wanting big furniture. So I bought this. Okay. So I got this and then I got that little tree and then I turned around and guess what I saw? Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Oh my God. I love it so much. I love it. And I, I made that noise and all the church ladies were like, Hey Angie, what's up? All the church ladies were like, oh, and some lady behind me was like, are you going to get that? And I was like, yeah. And then I even said to her, why do you want it? Because I'll fight you for it in a church. Seriously, I said that. What is wrong with me? Like, I have problems. How adorable is this? And I actually like the color. Like, I'm not going to do anything to this. I, I'm just going to wipe it down. I'm not even going to do anything. Look at the sides. Oh, my God. Like, I say I don't like, like, rounded cars, you know, like, the new cars that have, like, rounded sides, and I want, like, everything boxy, but, like, I love this. Like, I just, I love this. It is just so nice. I'm just, I love it. Like, I love everything about it. Like, I love the handles. See, Jamie? I know. I mean, I told her if she wanted this, we're going to have to fight it out. It was, oh. And then my husband, you know, he, instead of saying, like, we're not going to get this, he, he chastises, chastises me on my uh, my bargaining skills because the lady was like, I don't know how much it is, but um, she says, what do you want to spend? And my husband says $5 and she gives him a look. But I had already said to him, I'd take that for 20. So I just told her 20 and he's like, oh, he gives me like a look, you know, like I shouldn't have said any, right? You gave me a look. You went from five to 20 so quick. And what should I have done? Teach your bargaining skills to yeah, my like, subscribers, you Mike. The counter with like at least like ten or fifteen. Like you can't go four x. So if initial, you would, your initial offer basically. So if you were gonna replay the whole situation in your head, so she says, "What do you want to spend?" And you said, "I didn't say anything." You said you five dollars. No, I said five, and then you said. 20. Okay, so how you would said you twenty? Would... Like four seconds later. So, so like if. 20. So how would that have worked though? If like you said five dollars and she says, "Oh, I don't know," that's uh... she did, and then I was going to say something. But what were you going to say? Later, what you were said you... twenty dollars? Okay, what if I didn't say that twenty second four seconds later? What would you have done? How would you I have said asked it? Her, like what she was looking to get for it? Oh, so that's what you suggest people say. Like, what are you looking to get for it? Well, she asked what I wanted to offer. I said five. She says, "Oh, I can't do that," and then I would have said. You know, what are you looking to get for it? And then she would have gave me a number. Okay. And, and then I would, have, I would have counted on that. Now, don't you have like a signature line you use that almost works every time? Um, I usually like to say like the best I can do. That usually helps a lot with the negotiation. And then there's another line that you like to say, like for $10, I'll take it off your hands. Well, it depends on what they say, what they're countering with. Like, if, they, if she said, like, 10 or 15, like, I would have said, like, that's fine. Like, and I would have taken it for those prices. But you wouldn't have taken it for $20. No, I would have. Because, because, we, did. because we did. Because, because we did. Because we did. We got this, it. guys. But $20. Would you have spent $20 on this? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. I'm just cheap. With it. Oh, bye, Heather. I'm sorry. Oh, feel better. Oh, Jamie said you're giving away all your secrets. It's okay, Jamie. Who's watching my channel except for you guys? You think some uh, yard sale uh, gurus out there are watching my channel and they're like, shoot, take down these notes, guys. Look at this. For $20, guys. Come on. So what do you want to do? You want to like, you go back in and like do your stream? For a little bit oh, yeah. I guess I'll. And then I bring all this back in. Like, sure. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring you guys up front. We're going to go sit on the front deck. So let's see. I, oh, let me, let me see. Oh, you guys, did you, you, guys, you never saw what my driveway looked like. Oh, look at this, guys. While I'm out here, I might as well show you. You think they should put this in the front yard? It's super heavy. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, everyone's agreeing to, with you. Psh, whatever, guys. It's all right. No, it's, it's seriously, it's so cool. But look, so you guys see this? I'm going to show you something. Let's go for a little walk. Now that I know I can switch cameras, I'm like super excited. So we had planted these. So this was like all grass before. This whole thing was grass and my driveway was so skinny. So we just got rid of it and made it all. So this is my porridge. There's my Dollar Tree um, storage center I tell you guys about. That's it. We're going to go somewhere, guys. I'm so excited to show you. I'm going to go real quick. You ready? Oh, there it is. I'm so excited. You guys might recognize this. Poor thing. I need to fix it. I need to fix it. Don't look at it. So this is our messy yard. Support our police. Woo! You guys know that somebody actually stole this out of my yard and put it in my neighbor's trash barrel. Like they took it from here and walked it over there. Like the gall. My God. So this all has to be redone. So don't even look at it. So where I want to put that fire hydrant is right here. See? How cute. Right here. Right there. How cute would that be? I think it would be super, super cute. So it doesn't always look this overgrown. We've just been like super busy and we haven't done stuff. So we need to. You guys might recognize this. That's a DIY. So this was originally... So all right here where like the different grass color is, this was like another driveway. It was like so awkward and like it wasn't even a full driveway. You know what I mean? It was literally like half a driveway. Oh, Connie, I didn't know that. Okay, stuff is happening. It's happening. But don't look at it. Don't look at it. I'm going to go sit down so I don't have to, <laughs> I have to keep walking with this thing. <sighs> We're getting there, guys. Okay, you ready? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. This is a surprise. Close your eyes. Ready, Jamie? Dun dun dun. Hello, freebie on the road. Oh my God, I love it, and it fits perfect. See that? Oh, I love this. So I was actually talking to Jamie like all day yesterday. Like, what should I do? Because you know that Jamie is like. Oh, why is there a table in the street? Because, <laughs> because um, I was going to sell it and then I didn't want to keep dealing with people. So I just left it for free. Someone can go buy it. So, uh, I mean, they can go take it for free, not buy it. Just get it for free. So anyways, this is so, so sweet. So I didn't want to change anything on this. So, like at first I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm really not. So surprisingly, this is actually really clean. So funny story, if you guys don't know the story to this. So I was driving down the road to go to my son's new apartment and I saw this and it was like this. Oh, I can't even show you. Okay, sorry. It was like sideways, like laying on the ground. And I drove by it and then I texted Mike and I said, hey, I did like voice text and I didn't even know how it came out. But I was like, hey, on Robeson Street before before the funeral home, there's like this white thing on the side of the road. Can you go pick it up for me? Like, that's exactly what I said. I didn't tell him how big it was, what it was. I said, I think it might be like, like, what did I tell you what it was? You thought it was a cast iron. Lighter. But I didn't know it was a mantle. I just, yeah, I don't think you called it a mantle. Yeah. Hey Jackie, what's up? Okay, yeah, so the table on the road, that was our coffee table, and I got rid of it, and it um, I was going to sell it, but, like, you know how it is on Facebook Marketplace. Like, everybody and their mother says they're going to come get it, and then they don't come get it, and um, I just got sick of doing that, so I was like, you know what? Free is for me, and free is for my neighbors, too, so I hope somebody takes it. If not, we're just going to have to use my husband's mad business skills. Cause that's what he does. You guys know my husband's a clean, he does uh brother's clean outs. He owns a clean out company. So he, um, you know, does estate clean outs, basement clean outs, any kind of clean out. And, um, and then he finds all those fun finds that are in my garage or in my basement. And 
that's what he does for a living. So yeah, back to this. So yeah, so he didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I was just flying down the road and he came and got it and texted me and said, this thing's a monstrosity. And then I got home and I fell in love. Like I was like, oh my God, I love it so much. And then I messaged Jamie and I was like, tell me all your secrets. What do I do to this? Because I love it just like it is. And she said, uh, just polyurethane it. Clean it up and polyurethane it. So yesterday I scrubbed the crap out of this with like a wire brush, a br- like a regular brush. And then um, I took like um, like a paint scraper. And then this right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. So all this was like chipping up, like picking up, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like peeling up almost. Is that? Lifting. Yeah, it was like lifting. And I don't even know what kind of material it, it was because now it's solid because I took a um, like a paint scraper and I just went through. And any place that like just really chunked out, like I just left it. I was like, you know what? I don't even care. I love it. So I just, I think this one's still a little, I might do more. Um, I might do more. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I use polyurethane. Uh, I think it was like, was it matte? It was just a clear matte, right? It wasn't the satin one. Yeah, it was just matte. So I did that. So, but I scrubbed this, like I, I scrubbed this, this, nothing was coming off of this. I scrubbed it so hard, so good. And all this paint now it's, it's all sealed in. So I'm just like super excited. I'm like really excited. So I guess, uh, some people must not like it because I lost a lot of viewers. So you guys who love this stuff, you're my kind of people. You're my people. Look at this though. So, like, I thought this was cast iron, but um, these are, like, wood pieces. I don't want to keep picking at it because I don't want stuff to fall. I don't know if it would fall off now. I don't know. But look at it. It is just so pretty. And look at the glass. You guys don't need to see me. Oh, they love it. Everybody loves it, Mike. Mike wants to know what everyone's saying. Gorgeous patina. It's stunning. The detail is just amazing. That is gorgeous. Love this. See, thank you, Jamie. Jamie said I knew exactly what to do. Thank you, Jamie. But look at this glass. It's so pretty. And it's not cracked. You know what I mean? Like, it's cracked up somewhere, but not here. So, like, you don't feel it. And nothing's going to, like, break off. And I just love it. I love everything about it. So, my idea, I mean, I don't know. I get tons of ideas. So, I was thinking, um, you know, I'm going to use this as like my seasonal piece so I can put like, um, you know, for right now I'll do like, you know, pumpkins and I actually made something really, really cute to go right here. I'm not going to tell you guys because it's going to be on an upcoming video. Oh, look at this. Look at that. This thing's like solid, solid. So cool. So I'm going to put seasonal thing so imagine this for christmas oh my god it's gonna be gorgeous but for right now yes i'm leaving outside teresa isn't that so cute i mean it's all finished and it's you know i don't get too realize that we have a, a, like a ceiling on our- oh yeah so we have a ceiling up here so it's um it's not a closed in porch but it's pretty you know like the wind will put rain in here but not it normally stops like right here so, like, don't look at all this. We pushed everything over. So, normally it's pretty clean, but not today. Oh, yeah, I know. I just, I love the mirror. So, I was thinking of doing, like, some, like, swag. And then, like, pumpkins. And then, for now, I don't know if I want to do, I have, like, a cast iron frame that could go right here. Just to kind of, like, add something to it. I don't know. Um, I think I want to put like a hay bale down and then put the cast iron frame like right here. You know what I mean? So that way it kind of gives like that dimension. And then in the winter time, though, I'm thinking of putting like um, like an outdoor heater, you know, like how cute would that be? So you have like a little chair here and then a chair over here, you know, so it's like a little little seating like area, you know, because like I have this over here. And then um, I have this over here. So I'm thinking, like, I'm trying to see, like, how I want to incorporate the corners. And I don't know if I want to incorporate the corners or 
Hey, Fabi, what's up? Bye, Jackie. Have fun at work. Oh, you guys, real quick. I'm just going to show you guys some. Whenever we're outside, this is the cutest thing. This is why everybody needs a... Oh, Miko's out. Miko's out. You guys caught him. The escape artist. He's out. Go get him. This is what he does. He escaped again. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so funny. So that's not why you need to get a dog. That's, that's the opposite of why you need to get a dog because they're escape artists. This is why you need to get a dog. Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's like, why am I in the house? Why am I not out on the porch? Look at her. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh my God. She's funny. She makes me laugh. Oh, that's why you need a dog because they just want to be with you all day long and they're so sweet. So yeah. So this is just so exciting. I love this. Huh. I know. So sweet. All right. I'm going to try to fix this now. Let's see. Um, settings. Camera. We're going to try, guys. Not like you guys need to see my face or anything because I'm, like, super, super hot. Super hot. Okay. X out. Here we are. Huh. Hold on. I'm going to do my cough. <coughs> I got a Have little you cough. Have seen, like, the front of our house before, like? Um, I don't know. Have you guys seen the front of my house? Okay. Oh, you guys, I am hot. Oh my God. I am hot. This was a long day. I'm so excited. So I, I have so much to tell you guys, like just so much. So that green bureau is going into William's room, which is now my guest. Oh, I was going to tell you, um, I don't know what is falling off of those, um, vines but something is like it's it needs not, it needs to be pressure washed now because it's like like staining it so william moved out and he said he wanted me to keep he gets out too oh my goodness i can't he we had to put so we have the just a regular fence like a regular fence and now we have like a jimmy rig thing so he can't get out and it's 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 just a mess oh my god he just he loves getting out now that he knows how to do it he just thinks it's so funny, like, and he goes and like lays up on the deck and goes to the neighbor's yard, like. A velociraptor, he opens the doors, that's like he's a velociraptor, of course. He, yeah, he just and he like at first I thought it was like the kids were lying. They were like, you know, the dog can open the gate, right? And I'm like, no. And they're like, yeah, he does it when you're not home. And I'm like, no, he only does it when I'm standing there and he wants to get to me. And not anymore. He just opens the gate and he just hightails it out of here. He's like, see ya. I can't with that dog. Oh, my God. I'm so sweaty. Sorry, guys. I just can't. I'm having, like, such a fun day because I am going to be putting out all my porch decorations now that my mantle is there. And um, I'm going to change up some of these seating, you know, because I have the seating here probably all summer now. So we can change it up a little bit. I'm not going to change up, like, the color and stuff. I'm just going to move it around and stuff. And then... Um, I'm ready to get started on my kitchen and the guest room. So the kitchen, we have um, the countertops are ordered. We just have to get them a template now. And so we're waiting on the call for that. And we have um, the floors are going in next week. So I'm really excited about that. So my dining room right now is just filled with that. I'm going to redo the cabinets because I originally wanted it to be like total DIY. And then my husband said, you're going to open a can of worms. And we definitely did because every step of the way, it's been like something and something. And it's just, it's having an old house is amazing, but it's a lot of work because you can't do everything you want to do unless you gut the whole thing. And like, I don't want to do that. You know, like the Butler's pantry is built in. It's beautiful. I don't want Oh, thank you, Bobby. It's just glow, Mike. It's not sweat. It's just a glow. <laughs> so, yeah, I, yeah, Cotty, I can't do that. We, um, I don't know what's under our floor, and I, I do feel like, there's um, layers. It, there's definitely multi layers, and I just think it's going to be more work than it needs to be. So, we're just going to put, have the guys put the floor down. My husband said, don't worry about it. We're just going to do it the right way. Have professionals do it. And because we're not going to stay here forever, even though I love this house. We do plan on moving. So we want to get the house ready to sell. And it's not, um, even though it's my cup of tea, this is like my perfect, perfect house. And I love everything about it. 
somebody who moves here, they might not, and they might want like an updated kitchen. So they're going to get kind of an updated kitchen because we're going to, so all the appliances we did, um, when, when did we do the appliances? Like three years ago? Yeah, three years. So we did like the stove in the, in the, um, fridge. We did those like three years ago and then we did the dishwasher last year. And, um, so that's it for appliances. The garbage disposal is, I know Fabi, thank you. I'm so excited. So the uh, garbage disposal works great. So we're not going to change that up. So now I have the open shelving that's going to go up and we're going to make coffee bar. Oh, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to like a bonafide coffee bar and now I'm going to have one. So I'm so excited. And, uh, Mike, yes. are you excited? So excited. I'm excited that you're excited. You're in charge of the camera now. Why? Because you can see yourself. So Why do I want to be on camera like that? Because people want to hear your take on this. The husband's take. <laughs> the husband's take on a, on a DIY wife. She this says, is. Arrow's DIY says, sounds exciting. All the plans. Yeah. And yeah. Connie says, awesome. I love my coffee bar. Yeah. I can't wait to have a coffee bar. So Mike. What is your favorite part of doing a kitchen renovation? Just to see the joy in your eyes. <laughs> you guys, seriously, I can't make this stuff up. I seriously cannot make this up. Now, <laughs> those are brownie points. So, oh, let's go back in time while we're here, because I'm just catching my breath before I start real work here. So going back in time while you're here on camera, Let's do one thing first, bedroom. When you went into the bedroom, when you left on vacation yeah. and you saw our awful, depressing, sad, anger-filled bedroom, what did you think? Did I you... didn't feel like it was like that. It was like, you know, that definitely needed to be redone, but. Like... So now, okay, don't worry about that. That's how I felt, just so you guys know. It was, it was depressing. We got a lot of, we got a lot of comments right now. Oh, what, you, you're in charge here. Yeah, well, you're talking. Arrows says, I get emotionally attached to my old my old special house things. I'm so bad about letting go. Connie says, Ron loves what I'm doing, but I am doing all the work redoing the kitchen. Uh, Simple Root says, ah, oh, good answer. Angie says, ah, oh, what a gem. <laughs> uh, Arrow says, hi, husband of Devin. He's good. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> so now that we learned that you didn't care about the bedroom, really, and that's probably why it was never redone. When you came home, Take it, take it, take it. You oh, guys. Someone, someone's about to take our coffee table. No. Oh, yes, no. he's taking it, guys. He's thinking, he's thinking. He's going to take the coffee table, guys. Yeah, oh, take man. it. He's, he's pulling too far forward, though. Because he's thinking about it. He's going to text his wife, and he's going to be like, yo, you want this coffee table? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But what were you so, saying? So, okay. So, now when you came home from vacation, yeah. you're tired, you're sweaty, and you walk into that bedroom. Why was I sweaty? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, tired I'm just sweating. setting the scene. I don't know. Maybe it was a hot day. Maybe the truck AC was broken. I don't it know. I'm, but okay. Go ahead. I, I have a great <laughs> knack for storytelling, Mike. You were hot. You were sweaty. And you walk upstairs and you <laughs> you open the door. What was your first impression? I loved it. It was, it was just so refreshing for sure. It's a refreshing look for sure. And so now every day, oh, look at that car. That's cool. What the heck is that? No one's seeing it. So. Oh, I want that. You guys, you uh, you can't see Arrow what was in there. says the... you got all this on camera as evidence, admissible in court. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Actually, we were just talking about that, weren't we? <laughs> His wife probably has a channel. I don't know. Oh, I oh, the guy who pulled out. Oh, right, right. The guy oh, you know guy. what, guys? He was just our neighbor, I think. We have a new, we have a couple new neighbors. I don't know who they are. So, okay. Now, so we now know about the bedroom. So, Mike. Mike has not seen the live video that we did the other day. Remember that video, guys, where we were sitting no, in his office? We were sitting in his office, and I did not clean. I did not clean. And I left all his stuff out to be displayed for all of public to see. But when you came home that day, how surprised were you at what I did? When you left that morning, it looked the way it always looks. And when you came home. The thing is, I don't mind if you, if you change parts of our house. Like I don't, I don't mind it. Like even if it's my stuff, like I don't mind it. 
you guys, he's, he's making this real hard. I'm trying to like catch him up. I'm trying to, but I can't, I can't catch him up on anything. He's, Was he's, I mad though? No, no, I, no, I never think you're going to be mad. Mike doesn't get mad guys. Mike will, he doesn't like doing certain things, but he doesn't get mad. So what's it feel like being the husband? Can we like sit a, next to each other? Oh, like, geez, guys. Like, oh, okay. I don't want to be like the only person on the All right, guys. All right. Here we go. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, guys. Now I can read the comments. It's a little far away from me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I don't know if I like that. Put it back. Put it back. So what are you guys doing today? You guys excited for all the plans coming up? I was just so excited. I had to show you guys. Like, I just, I cannot get over that bureau. Like, I love that bureau so much. So when I was thinking about my guest room, I was thinking of, um, like, a girl, like, guest room. I was thinking of, like, a glam, like, country chic, like, pink um, idea. The thing is, you can change it at any point, though. And I will. I will change it at any, I, any time. Arrow says he's super diplomatic with his answers. He keeps... He's keeping the peace, so, smart man. <laughs> yeah, so Mike's actually pretty smart when it comes to, like, he could, like, start a channel for husbands. I, I think he should. He should start a channel for husbands. Oh, that might blow away. That's not going to blow away. Um, uh, husbands of DIYers. He really could because um, I think he's dealt with a lot. I think he's a lot. Like, we have done a bathroom renovation together. That almost, that could have been that if anybody ever wants to do a bathroom renovation, like you need to make sure your marriage is real strong. Like no, any renovation, it's not just bathroom. But bathroom in includes pipes and electricity. That, that was scary. That was scary. It's like, I didn't know if I was going to lose my life because the electricity or because he was so mad that he had to do electricity up in a ceiling fan. Like I'm not an electrician. That's the thing. <laughs> So what I'd like to remind him when he has, so I don't know if you guys have husbands who do this. So I'll say like, I want to make a shelf. And he's like, I'm not a carpenter. And I'll say, well, I want to put in a new light. Well, I'm not an electrician. Listen to me. Every time I ask you to do something or I say, I want to do this. You always tell me to YouTube it, YouTube it, figure it out. Right? Yeah. So when I ask for a ceiling fan to be put in, YouTube it. Right? But I didn't YouTube but I called my dad's friend to do it. And that's another thing. Our whole family is literally professionals at everything. We have mechanics, we have electricians, we have tree guys, we have we have everything. So it's like you wanna switch switch spots? Oh sure. So I can't read that far. So anyways guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that BRO. I think we're done with the questions because I don't know if Mike wants to be put on the spotlight. <laughs> so not my channel. So the bureau, I love that look, and that is not even what I envisioned for that bedroom. So I'm going to have to change up my idea, and I don't want to paint it. So now I do want to keep it green. So I don't think it's going to be like an all pink. Like I was thinking like pink and like like light creams, and now I'm thinking like greens and like browns and make it more like a vintage feel. I don't know. I'm not sure. Of course you did, Connie. Con Anytime you say, oh, I've never done this. Connie goes, oh, I did that. I did that last week. Retired grandma puts in ceiling fan. See, Connie? That's it. That's what YouTube needs. Retired grandma redoes kitchen floor alone while husband watches. See, guys? This See? Connie does it in her sleep. Bobby said it's true it's true it's wild I don't know what I'll be doing at that age. come back and get the table oh they're leaving he's thinking about it he's, thinking about it. he's still there guys Ooh. that's the joy of living in the city you never know who you're gonna see like you don't know they could be your neighbors and like you have no idea so like someone could be driving down the road and you're like what are they looking at me for like that and then they pull next door and you're like oh it's my neighbor oops oops <laughs> Mom DIY says that she wants to do a 15 minute stream around 45 minutes. Oh, okay, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, I got stuff to do. So, I am doing my porch reno because we're having a hurricane tomorrow. So, why not do a porch reno the day before a hurricane, right? Seems like a great idea. So, might as well do it and see how it comes out. And <laughs> tell everyone to 
give us a like. Yeah, don't forget, do a like, do a like. So like the video if you haven't liked it. I appreciate you guys for coming on. Like I, I always think I want to do like a set live, but I have such a hard time doing that because like we don't have like that scheduled life. Like we're just randomly doing different things and I never know when I can go live. So I appreciate when you guys just jump on my live. It makes me so happy and I love seeing you guys and I definitely love your ideas. So um, if I miss any ideas for that mantle, I'm going to go back and see it because I definitely have my own ideas, but like I'm not set in stone. You know what I mean? So I have ideas that I'm doing today because my hot glue gun, I might have left it on uh, because I have to finish up one DIY and then it's ready to go out. And then I have another one that's drying that's ready to go out and everything else is already up here. So we are good to go. And oh, taking apart an old piano. Hmm. What are you going to use the parts for? Are you going to like build a piano? Connie, master everything, build a piano. That would be a good title too. See, I can make titles for other people, but not for myself. All right, guys. So I hope if you guys are in the path of Henry, stay safe, charge up your phones, get some water, get some batteries and get a book and get ready to ride out the storm or go find somebody who has a wraparound porch and go sit on their porch and enjoy the storm. And other than that, we'll go live during the storm. Oh yeah. You guys want to go live during the storm? Tomorrow we'll go live. To yeah, that's what we'll do. So we'll see you guys tomorrow during the storm. We'll go live during Henry. And uh, you guys can, um, I don't know, hang out during a hurricane. Why not? I mean, hurricane, remember our hurricane party? Yes. I, all right. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a hurricane party one time. I'm not going to go into detail. It was amazing. Best party I ever had. Power went out. Food was amazing. It was the best party I ever had. And then I met this guy and our first, we were together only a couple of months, month, two months, no, longer than that. I don't know. Oh yeah. It had been a while. Yeah. Cause it was, it was summertime. Yeah. It was like that. Yeah. Probably like seven months, eight months. Maybe. And we had a hurricane party. All right. Fabi's in. That's it guys. See you tomorrow. Hurricane party. So get your, uh, get your popcorn ready. Get your popcorn <laughs> ready. <laughs> I'm going to get a shirt made. Popcorn. Popcorn. My popcorn. <laughs> All right. I don't want any New Jersey people coming and beating me up because I say popcorn. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Have a wonderful day. And I hope you guys stay safe if you do have a storm. And if not, just have fun because it's a weekend. Time to party. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming Thanks on. For see you guys Bye.